No burn order remains in effect while the dry conditions here and all across the southeast help feed the fires, which have been voracious. And now the state is activating its drought plan. That's right. The leaders of more than a dozen state agencies met today, and their message isn't a good one. This drought isn't going anywhere anytime soon. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Loder talked to state officials today. He's live on 42 on deck. Uh, Michael? Jim and Sherry, the state of Alabama is watching its water dry up day by day. There's no end in sight for this drought. And state officials that I talked to this morning tell me that the two places that you and I will feel the drought impact first will be at the grocery store and then at our faucets. Alabama's lakes and rivers show the severity of this year's drought. It's having a big impact on businesses around the water and on cities that use the lakes for drinking water. For well, the short term, there's not, uh, there's little to no rain uh, forecast. Brian Adkins with the Office of Water Resources led the first meeting of Alabama's drought assessment and planning team. More than a dozen state agencies are working together to share information and resources. Somebody may have something that uh, another group uh, needs. Farmers and ranchers in Alabama are feeling the impact from the drought. Pastures and creeks are bone dry, forcing ranchers to feed hay during a season they normally let cattle graze. Lower cattle prices mean even if they do sell, they won't make much money. The drought is also draining lakes and rivers. The Birmingham Waterworks System is on stage four drought warning. Their source for water, Lake Purdy, is drying up every day. That means that eventually those systems will have to start paying for water from other sources. It depends on each water system in terms of their system as far as surcharges and things like that that they would implement. Um, but yes, as we go through and don't receive any rain, we could see more occurrences of that. The state of Alabama wants to make as much information available to the public as possible during this drought emergency. They have set up a website, water.alabama.gov, where you can go to see exactly what state agencies are doing concerning the drought. Live on deck tonight, Michael Loder, CBS 42 News.